<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to today the last Torah texting challenge of uh, the semester. A Chodesh Tov to everyone. Sorry to uh, the gentleman who received the text a little bit later than usual. I'm sorry about that. Technology. Um, the question that we asked for today was, you have a tree in your private property and your tree is now growing after 20 years. It's expanding, it's growing and is now impeding on your neighbor's uh, window and gates. Ha, that was funny. Bill Gates, that text? What's it <laughs> so, the question is, it is disturbing your window. It's maybe blocking out the sun. Maybe it's pressing against your window. It's going to break it. It's going to do whatever. Who is obligated to pay for the pruning or the cutting down the trimming of the tree? Listen to this. Me, I'm reading from Chosha Mishbat, Kuf Nunhei, Sif Lamed Beis Hilchot Nizke Shechenim Mishalo Ilan A guy who has a tree Betoch Sadeu In his field Karov Labor Chavero Adjacent to a neighbor's pit Not like a dangerous pit But a useful pit Like a well or something Ein Baal Abor Yachol Akiv The owner of the pit Can't be Tell Mr. Tree And tell him Velo Marlo your roots are disturbing my tr- my pit. Uma Syrian OT. And they're bothering me. They're disturbing me. They're causing me some type of loss. Agmas Nevesh. Why? Why? Every single person, with the exception of one person, said, What do you mean? The guy owns the tree. He has to pay to prune it down. His tree, his property, his extension is disturbing, hurting, impeding somebody. Says the halacha, which is actually based on a mishnah, something different. Listen to this. What a way to end the year. Shezen nezek haba me'ilav. The tree is natural. Oh, natural. La'achar zman. U'be'et shenata inu maziko. Notice I was very careful in my text. I said 20 years later, 20 years ago, the guy planted a sapling. It barely was as high as his six-year-old kid, right, when he was planted. In a mozigo, when he planted it, it wasn't causing anyone any damage. You want to dig a pit in your field? I want to plant a tree in my field. And therefore, I'm allowed to do that. And if 20 years later my tree is high and mighty and strong, and you don't like it, you need to pay for it to be trimmed. You need to pay for it to be pruned. It is not the responsibility of the Balabite who has the tree in, uh, in his property. He can be nice and pay for it, but he is not obligated, Mitzar Hadin, to pay for it. What a tremendous chidush. And I think that the message here is very powerful. The message here is the damage that you pay for needs to be direct. And it appears when it comes to a tree, even though you are responsible for your own property, someone tried to, some to say it's like you're having a dangerous pit, like you have a boar. If you dig a pit in Bershut Rabim, of course you're responsible. This is your Bershut Yachid. This is your own private property. And if a tree grows and extends itself, uh, this is very, this happened, uh, you know, commonly in, uh, after the ice storm, right, where those trees injured other people. If it happens on its own, you would not be high of. Um, and you'd have to pay for damage. Or what happens if that goes against the local municipal law that you need to pay for your tree if it causes damage? Dina the Mechuta Dina might apply in that case. But Mitzar Hadin, you're not obligated to pay to pay for the tr- pruning if you're blocking out someone's property. Amazing what appears to be a chidush to our modern ears, but that is the halacha. Thank you all. The response today is actually were very good, despite the fact that a bunch of guys didn't get it. Um... It's been a great, great year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a twist this year. The Torah Texting Tuesday Challenge. We will see who the winner is. Last winner to receive the $5 gift card. Maybe it was you. And maybe it wasn't. Regardless, we all enjoyed We all had fun. And God willing, next year we'll, we'll, we'll be in Yerushalayim. And we'll send out Torah Texting Challenges dealing with like Karbana and stuff. In order to appreciate the, our new, our new uh, reality. Have a uh, terrific Tuesday, everyone. Bye. <laughs>